Your company is looking into Microsoft Teams phone system to replace your existing phone system. And one thing you've heard about is direct routing as a service where you go to a third party and they provide your calling plan for Microsoft Teams phone system. But then you heard of this thing called Operator Connect, or maybe you saw it in your Microsoft admin portal, and you're wondering what is this and how is it different than direct routing as a service? Well, that's a great question. I wanna make a quick video explaining the differences between the two. But before I get started really quick, if you want to know which Operator Connect providers or which direct routing as a service providers you should quote for your company, don't search on the internet for it, just contact me. More information on that at the end of the video. Okay, so what's the difference between Operator Connect and direct routing as a service? As I mentioned, that's a great question. They are very similar in terms of deploying Microsoft Teams phone system. And, but they're definitely different solutions. So you, you really wanna know which one you should use for your company and why. Well, first, right out of the gate, I can tell you, you don't have to worry about pricing. Pricing is not a differentiating factor between the two. You're not gonna choose one or the other based on pricing. One is not lower priced than the other. So they're both the same price. For instance, some service providers offer either Operator Connect or direct routing as a, as a service, and the pricing for their calling plans is exactly the same. So pricing, take that off your list. That's not a differentiator between the two. The big differentiator between Operator Connect and direct routing as a service is with direct routing as a service, all of your phone numbers are managed by the third party service provider. So for instance, if you wanna assign a new phone number to somebody, or you want to delete a user or something like that, you're gonna to have to go into that third party service providers Cloud PBX portal or their VoIP management portal to do that, to like assign a new phone number to somebody. So the phone numbers are actually owned and managed by that third party service provider and managed within their own Cloud PBX portal. So that's direct routing as a service. So why would you wanna do that as opposed to Operator Connect, where Operator Connect has all those phone numbers managed within your Microsoft admin portal. So if you wanna assign a new user, a new phone number, you can do it right within your Microsoft admin portal. So that's, that's the main difference is where the phone numbers are managed. So you might be thinking, well, why would I want to manage it in a third party portal when I can manage it within the Microsoft portal? Well, that's a great question. And the reason why you would wanna do that is because with direct routing as a service, you're going to get more features and functionality and more redundancy than with Operator Connect. Operator Connect, think of it as almost an exact solution, a very clean exact solution to Microsoft Teams phone system. You're gonna get all the same features and functionality and redundancy for your for your dial tone as if you're going to Microsoft directly for your dial tone. Direct routing as a service, however, can offer you some of those extra features and functionality. So for instance, if Teams goes down, the Teams, the app itself goes down, with direct routing as a service providers, a lot of them offer the ability of using their Cloud PBX application as a backup. So all of the phones that are on site are registered to that third party provider, not to Microsoft directly. So if Teams goes down, the phones on your desk will still ring. Also, you can, you can use SSO to log into that third party's Cloud PBX application and still make and receive phone calls because Teams is actually being powered through direct routing as a service by that third party's Cloud PBX application. So that Cloud PBX application is still up even though Teams is down. So you can still make and receive calls from that other application by just going onto a web browser and using SSO to log in to that third party Cloud PBX app. So kind of to summarize, the main difference between Operator Connect and Direct Routing as a Service is with Direct Routing as a Service, you get some additional features 
you get some additional redundancy but the caveat is that you have to manage your phone numbers through a third-party portal with operator connect you get the same exact features and same exact redundancy as Microsoft Teams phone system directly, which is a little lacking in features and a little lacking in redundancy, just a little bit. But the advantage is, is that you can manage your phone numbers through the Microsoft admin portal. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps a little bit. Again, if you want to know which service providers you should quote for these things for a direct routing as a service or for operator connect, don't just guess through the portal. Don't reach out to them and start asking for quotes. You'll probably end up with the wrong service provider. Instead, just reach out and contact me. I'm a broker for all these service providers. This is what I do. I represent all of them. And based on your company's unique needs, I'll actually find the best handful of service providers you should be quoting and help you get those quotes, help you talk to the right companies and the right people within those companies. And an extra bonus for you is that I won't charge you anything for doing that for you. If you find something that you like, those third party companies will pay me my broker fee. So I've been doing this for 18 years. I know this industry inside and out. And within a few questions, I can tell you right away which service providers you should be quoting and why. So no excuse not to reach out to me. I'm happy to help. Hope you liked the video. If so, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel and I will catch you on the next one.